morning, guys. Right now, it's early in the morning. It is about five o'clock. I'm about to be heading to work right now. It's not my first day. It's actually my second day, and bro, I had a terrible first day, man. Terrible first day, bro. Man, my machine broke. Uh, some shit got fucked up. Some shit got burnt up. I got it fixed yesterday. Shout out to my uh, mechanic, Rudy, my 45 South, man. Uh, I hit him up and uh, he was able to get me right and he was able to help me out with my uh, machine. But uh, yeah, I got that fixed, but I had a terrible day, man. Uh, you know, not a good start for my first day. The machine broke. Uh, the supervisor didn't look too pleased that I had to leave early. I don't know if uh, they're on a time schedule, which I'm guessing most likely they are on a time schedule. So, so hopefully I'll have a better day today. Uh, but I uh, did two production ones yesterday, two stainless schedule uh, 40s. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully uh, everything went right. They shot them today. So hopefully uh, everything is good and uh, we're good to go. So I'll be vlogging y'all the new job site. We had a shop right now, then we went into the field, but they got uh, two other welders, badass rigs. I'm gonna uh, record a video for y'all and show y'all uh, what they are. But yeah, man, I'm about to uh, head to work because y'all know I am running late today, but I got my energy drink. This is actually my new favorite energy drink. They sell them at HB for like a dollar fifty, man. And things are official. But yeah, man, I'll check in with y'all later. And this right here will be my new home for a few weeks. Uh, this is the shop. Everything that we do in here is stainless. I actually had some trouble running the Schedule 40 because I never really ran it with my SA200. Uh, I couldn't find the heat. These are some of the welds that I made. Uh, man, for the heat, I'm running on third gear, but sometimes it gets too hot and I'll have to turn the remote all the way down to like five to do my route. And I stay between five and 20 depending on my gap. But if I was there, I might try second gear, but I just stuck to a third gear. So it's schedule 40, six inch, third gear. If I do schedule 10, like a two inch, I dropped it down to uh, the first gear. But these are some of the other guys that are working with me. Two other rig welders, I haven't made friends yet, so I don't even know their names yet. These right here is the two production welds that I did. And yes, they shot good. It came out all right. Like I said, I was struggling with the heat a little bit. Kind of dripped on me a little bit on the root, but you know, it's still shot x-ray. We still live another day at the shop. I was trying to get some more footage for y'all at my job site, but man, they are pushing. Seems like they really want to get all that piping done. I'm not sure if we behind schedule or whatever, but bro, we do not stop going all day. As soon as uh, we clock in, we get into it. So I really couldn't get y'all any more footage, especially my first uh, week there. I don't want to be recording or anything of that, you know, until I see how everything is there. But I will get some more footage for y'all and show y'all what we're doing. Uh, for the production welds, I mean, it was hard for me to find the heat of my machine since I never really ran that Schedule 40 uh, with my SA200. But uh, the settings that I did use was third gear. And for the root, sometimes I drop the remote all the way down to, uh, the, the, I think it's five where it starts off, but I drop all the way down to five and the highest I go will be 25, but that will be for uh, a tight gap. But mainly I'm keeping it about 15 the whole way, running that uh, 1 8 uh, rod. And sometimes I do switch to 332 though, like I said, when I keyhole, whenever I don't feel like ripping that pipe to make that gap bigger. But yeah, man, uh, today is Thursday. It's my off day. I feel pretty good. It feels good working four days out of the week. You know, I'm usually working a lot. So uh, today I'm gonna uh, go get my hair cut. Cause one thing I noticed, man, I've been watching my videos and I've been looking way, way too rough. You know, I got hair all over my face. My haircut's all messed up. So what I'm gonna try to do now is, is really work on my image, man. Cause I don't wanna be out here looking rough. So I'm about to go get me a haircut. I'm gonna also go to Tommy Tools to get some tools that I need uh, for my job. Here's my baby right here with an ugly ass wreck. You know, but man, look how messy it is back here. Whenever I had to go get my machine fixed, I just took everything apart and just threw everything in there. I'm gonna have to go get that fixed soon. But yeah, man, I had, uh, I've been having a lot of people asking me about getting some one-on-one -on -one classes. And I know I've been talking about it for a while, but now since I'm only working 40 hours, which is Monday through Thursday, I'm trying to see, 
you know, how can I do this? I'm gonna probably be trying to uh, get with y'all either either uh, Friday, Fridays and Saturdays. The only issue I'm having is the pricing. You know, uh, I want to be fair to you and I want to be fair to me. You know, I got a lot of overhead. I got to supply the coupons, the rides, gases, you know, plus a uh, gasoline to, to burn the machine. You know, so I'm still trying to find the pricing for it. You know, uh, like I say, I mean, I don't want to be overcharging or not charging enough, you know, because, you know, my sh my time is really, really short. But uh, I, I still have to figure that out. But I feel like I'll definitely come up with a number good for you and good for me, too. Uh, so it's just a matter of time where I sit down and just see, see what I come up with. But I'll definitely be trying to uh, help some of y'all out. Now, I personally think that the people will the people who will benefit the most will be the guys who already went to school or just know how to weld but they just need a few touch-ups you know like the last video that i posted uh my homeboy just needed a few touch-ups and i was able to help him just for one session so it's mainly gonna be for guys who already know how to weld but these having little issues here and there with their roots or their cap and you know they just want to brush up on it you know i think this will benefit you the most simply because i'm gonna be there watching you well the whole time you know it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one. the whole time i'll be watching you well seeing what you do wrong stopping you and trying to correct the issue you know i feel like uh, it will help you out a lot now if you don't know how to weld uh i don't think this will help you out a lot simply because you know we cannot cover a lot of ground and for the price that i think i'm gonna charge it's not gonna be good for you you know i think if you don't know anything about welding you should just consider uh going to school or finding somebody else you know because my method is different you know i'm just um i want to help everybody out and like i said uh the people who will benefit the most will be the guys who already know how to weld but they just need a touch-ups you know uh now if you don't mind if you still want to pay that price and you don't know anything about welding you know I, it's up to you you know what i'm saying it's up to you I'll, I'll, I'll you know we can start from structure and work way up the pipe you know but it's just like i said man it's just finding that sweet spot of the price and for you and for me so uh i haven't really decided that so yeah man i'll, I'll see what i do though man i'm gonna keep y'all posted uh about that you know shook back finally got my hair cut man like i said man i've been checking my videos out and i look way too rough you know i really want to be sharp but a man shout out to my boy blue for hitting me up if you ever need a haircut and you in houston uh hit my boy blue up <clears throat> i'm gonna have his info uh right here for you i think the app is called brook brookski uh, i forgot the name of the app but you download the app on your phone and uh you go to sick cuts and uh you will be able to find him there his name is blue and uh it'll show a calendar of when you want to book the appointment and it'll show you what time he's available for so if you're ever in houston hit him up he's dope with the clippers as you can see if you do go to him let him know that you've seen it on the well lab on youtube so he knows that you know i gave him a shout out but yeah man uh i really want to stay fr looking fresh man i'll be looking way too rough so but yeah man uh yeah i started this new job we'll see how it goes i'm also working on another job right now since this is only for seven weeks kind of started you know talking to other people and i got a potential another job coming up this job coming up is a two-year job with my rig and i honestly wouldn't mind taking that i hate dragging up on people but if it comes down to it i'm gonna drag up but hopefully i finish these seven weeks then i get to go to the other uh job so i uh, my so my name will stay the same you know it's not good to just quit random jobs because sometimes they won't let you come back but yeah guys man i appreciate you rocking with me we're almost at 10k i appreciate all my new subscribers if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and uh and don't forget to subscribe man if you're new to this channel you know i always post uh welding vlogs anything related to welding construction jobs anything uh along that line but yeah man I'm about to head out, head back to the crib. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.